you guys, I'm Dr. Christy Wise, and I want to wish you a very happy new year. And today I want to talk to you about how to follow through and complete your goals. So you may be somebody that believes in resolutions and you might be somebody that doesn't. Either way, it's fine. We all know what it's like to set and create goals, especially goals that we're just dying to complete or that we've set for years and years and years and we still haven't completed them and the frustration and disappointment that creates and then we end up being hard on ourselves and you know it's a whole shitty cycle so i'm going to teach you how to complete your goals in three really great steps how do we do it we're going to trick your brain why because our brains are the ones that drive everything that we do obviously so number one is to turn your goal into a habit so our habits and our goals are actually stored in different parts of our brain, which makes it annoying and difficult because habits we do, you know, with our eyes closed and goals are difficult, even though it's something that we're passionate about or want. So what do we do? We, you know, turn that goal into a habit. So if you want to lose weight, getting up and putting on, for me, my idea is that if I always put on a sports bra, I know I'm going to go for a run. That's just the rule. Somehow when my bra is on, I go. So whatever your thing is, you want to create that habit that will trigger your brain to say, oh, I know what we're doing. This is familiar and I like what's familiar. Um, and that's also how we merge those two parts of our brain, by the way. Um, and then number two on my list is to change your environment. This is kind of an interesting one because, you know, environmental cues are like so powerful to our habits, to our behavior. So if we were to walk into a bar, for instance, um, and it felt a little early, we'd look at the clock to see if it's five o'clock because all of a sudden we'd want to have a beer. You know, if you walked into a church or a temple, all of a sudden you'd feel something a little bit deeper than you did maybe an hour before that. So our environment plays a huge role in how we act. So another trick is to change your environment. So if you decide you wanna quit smoking and you always seem to want to smoke when you drive, cause that's what people do, um, then I would suggest that you change that completely, that you carpool with somebody and you sit in the passenger seat or you take a different type of transportation or change it up so that that cue isn't there for you. Um, our brains are great at connecting, like I said, the environment. And if you find yourself giving up on your goals and you're like, God, I don't know why I can't finish this, um, then change your environment. That helps a ton. Um, and then number three on my list is use dopamine to help you. Now, dopamine is that feel good chemical in our brain just like a drug. And when we do something or get something that we want, little bits of dopamine are released. You know, every time you pick up your phone and swipe social media or something like that, dopamine is released in your brain. Even if you know that nobody's on there, or even if you've already checked your emails, you still pick up your phone and you don't know why you're doing it. It's like, I know, I don't know why I'm checking, but that's because by the way, little bits of dopamine are being released and it feels good. So you can manipulate that chemical in your brain by having little, little wins. So how you manipulate it, set small goals. Even if it's something like making your bed um, and saying oh, every morning when I wake up, I'm gonna brush my teeth, take a shower, make my bed. Every time you make your bed, dopamine is released. So you wanna follow through with those goals, um, the little ones, so that dopamine starts you know, um, releasing out of your brain. So uh, what I also want you to know though, is that dopamine is, um, can be so powerful, but it's also why uh, certain drugs that um, impact dopamine can be so dangerous, right? Because they're addictive um, and your brain just wants more and more and more. So ultimately what I want you to do is to turn your goal into a habit, change your environment, so, right? Uh, and then use dopamine to help you. And in the very end, um, taking your goal and breaking it up into teeny tiny bite-sized goals so that every time you do it, you're re like rewarded for it. Um, what do they say, you know, eating the elephant one bite at a time um, will help you feel good about it and will help you absolutely follow through with it and 
accomplish your goal. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, um, feel free to contact me. Happy New Year.